Whole Foods Market has the satisfying lunch you're looking for. Level up lunch boxes with Wallet Happy 365 by Whole Foods Market snacks, like organic vanilla animal cookies, organic string cheese, and more. Hey, you have to eat too. Hit the prepared foods department and try the spicy red pepper salmon. Or treat yourself to pizza from the hot bar. Either way, remember to bring home a rosemary lemon chicken family meal for an easy dinner that hits the spot. Shake things up at Whole Foods Market. It's a great time of year for vacations, and that includes vacationing in the comfort of your own home. Brook Linen is here to keep you cozy all summer long with their award-winning sheets and home essentials. Brook Linen is the internet's favorite sheets, and according to Wirecutter and Good Housekeeping, Brook Linen has best-in-class bedding. So if you don't trust me, or their 100,000 five-star customer reviews, you know these experts have done the research. Brooklinen uses only the highest quality materials for all of their products, so everything they create is built to last. I've been sleeping on their super soft, luxe sateen sheets, which is great for this time of year. And the graphite color goes super well with the rest of the room's decor. So shop in-store or online at brooklinen.com today to give yourself the luxurious sleep you deserve this summer. Use promo code OHD for $20 off your online purchase of $100 or more, plus free shipping on brooklinen.com. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Use promo code OHD for $20 off, plus free shipping. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2243. Five Strategies for Keeping Up Your Fitness Resolutions by Mike Trott with lesmills.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik, reading you some of the most popular health and fitness blogs out there with permission from the websites, of course. And for now, let's get right to it as we optimize your life. Five Strategies for Keeping Up Your Fitness Resolutions by Mike Trott with lesmills.com. It's an all too familiar story. We eat too much over the festive period and then commit to becoming fitter and healthier come January. A couple of months later, those ambitions are mostly lost and it's likely that we feel guilty for not sticking to our new healthy lifestyle. But research shows that we may not be entirely to blame. In fact, it seems that genetics may have a part to play in whether or not we're likely to stick to that New Year's resolution. The study of the human genome, meaning our DNA and what makes us who we are, has revealed several genes associated with habit formation. Some of the most interesting of these are associated with dopamine receptors. Dopamine is commonly known as the pleasure hormone, but when it comes to habits, it serves an even more important purpose. It's shown to increase our willingness to endure things that we don't enjoy. This means that if you have higher levels of dopamine, you're more likely to go back to the gym even if you're not really enjoying it, rather than someone with lower levels of dopamine. So, we just need more dopamine, right? Mm, Not quite. Fun experiences increase your levels of dopamine, so surely everyone who does a Les Mills workout experiences the magic should come back again and again. Actually, no. This is where your dopamine receptors come in. The dopamine receptors are responsible for telling your brain how much dopamine is in your system, which is directly linked to the feelings of being able to handle an exercise session when you don't really feel like it. So, The more dopamine receptors you have working, the more your body is responsive to the hormone, and it's your genes that mostly control which dopamine receptors are switched on or off. Essentially, if you're that person who, when going to the gym, starts to feel like a chore, struggles to get off the sofa, it may not be all your fault. Your genes are at least partly to blame. How much are we controlled by our genes, though? This is an ongoing argument, but one thing is certain. Genes do not 100% control our behavior, which means that there are things we can do to build the habit of exercise regardless of our genes. Five ways to make your exercise habit stick. One, do exercise you enjoy. There is something for everyone when it comes to fitness. So the key thing is to do things that you enjoy. If you don't know what you enjoy, then try everything. Dip your toes in the water. There are plenty of options. Two don't overdo it. This one is key. People frequently start off an exercise routine by doing as much as they can as frequently as possible. The bottom line is this is just not sustainable in the long run and can lead to giving up. 
So although you may want to spend every day doing your favorite workouts, be careful to take regular rest days where you do not exercise. This will let your body and mind recover. Three, be nice to yourself. It's okay to miss a day. Set goals for how much you want to train and then don't beat yourself up if you miss one. Studies have shown that missing one planned session is completely fine. Not only will it not really affect you from an overall health and fitness point of view, it also doesn't affect whether or not you're going to build a habit. So if you miss an exercise session, try not to worry about it too much and recommit to your goals as soon as possible. Four, it takes time to build a habit. Lots of time. Studies have shown that it can take anywhere from 18 to 254 days to build a habit, depending on the person. This is a huge range. So please don't worry if you see someone who can get into the flow of things and keep doing it after just a few weeks. You may be one of those who take longer to build a habit. One thing is for certain though, you can't build a habit of something you don't do. And five, celebrate successes. In this busy world, we don't celebrate our successes enough. Celebrating success in fitness is crucial to building a habit since it provides positive reinforcement of a good habit. Successes can be small or large. So post on social media and let the whole world celebrate with you. The bottom line. Some people are genetically predispositioned to be better at building habits, but that doesn't mean you can't build a healthy habit of exercising by choosing something you enjoy and not beating yourself up about missing one session. Descartes, an ancient philosopher, once said, quote, I think, therefore I am, end quote. This holds true for building habits. If you think you don't try, then you will never build the habit. So adopt a positive mental attitude, tell yourself and others that you will, and you can sustain it this time around. And who knows, despite genes, it may well be true. You just listened to the post titled Five Strategies for Keeping Up Your Fitness Resolutions by Mike Trott with lesmills.com. Business owners know that hiring the right people can be a real challenge. Make it easier with Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform helping over 3 million businesses do it all. Attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates. With Indeed's instant match feature, over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates the moment they sponsor a job. I especially love that if you invite these or any candidates of your choosing to apply, they are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in search. Start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at indeed.com slash health. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at indeed.com slash health. Just go to indeed.com slash health and support the show by saying you heard about it on this podcast. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Whole Foods Market has the satisfying lunch you're looking for. Level up lunch boxes with Wallet Happy 365 by Whole Foods Market snacks, like organic vanilla animal cookies, organic string cheese, and more. Hey, you have to eat too. Hit the prepared foods department and try the spicy red pepper salmon, or treat yourself to pizza from the hot bar. Either way, remember to bring home a rosemary lemon chicken family meal for an easy dinner that hits the spot. Shake things up at Whole Foods Market. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. I want to go back to something today's author, Mike, mentioned about the time it takes to form a new habit. Mike mentioned it can take anywhere from 18 to 254 days. And Mike is absolutely right. The amount of time it takes someone to form a new habit is different for everyone. That old saying that it takes three weeks or 21 days to form a new habit is a myth. Let's think about it for a second and quickly put that myth to the test. Say someone wants to make exercise a habit, so they work out for 10 minutes once a week. Is it any guarantee that in three weeks, this 10-minute workout will become a habit that somehow 30 minutes spread over the course of three weeks is now part of their lifestyle? Probably not. We might argue that I'm interpreting the three-week habit formation advice incorrectly, that the behavior must be performed every day for it to work, not once a week. To that, I would say, who says? The three-week habit formation myth quickly falls apart when we start to think about it a little bit more critically. 
Okay, I'll stop crying. I'm ranting and raving about this only because I want you to be more kind to yourself. Allow yourself longer than just three weeks to form a new habit because that's the reality. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing this show with someone and I'll be back here tomorrow for our usual Friday Q&A. So stay tuned for that where your optimal life awaits.